Hi everyone. We have uh, studying today uh, the Goldsmith system of the distribution element in the uh, our uh, surface, uh, which contaminated after that the environmental and uh, food we are taking uh, in. Director Morris is a Goldsmith uh, scientist who is lived between uh, in 18th century. Uh, to 19th century, uh, here as you see uh, from uh, 1988 to 1947. This is uh, not long life, but it's a good work and excellent work which is published in many uh, papers uh, after that. So, the golden myth classification, what is meaning for us? It's meaning a classification of the chemical elements into groups four groups we classified all elements we are now now in, in our minerals or rocks or uh, distributed in the food or distributed in the uh, periodic table into uh, four groups four groups according to the uh, abundance or tendency concentrate which formed and what is the shape to concentrate it and as we see in this is periodic table, we will discuss more uh, clearly after that. So, as you know, the, the chemistry of our Earth, chemistry of our Earth, you not know, the composition of the Earth, is chemistry which uh, uh, is the behavior of all elements uh, inside the Earth, inside uh, our body, inside uh, everything we are using every day, like paper, like water, like uh, foods, everything we are using. So, the life is the chemistry. So, you think that the life is uh, uh, chemistry. And which is distributed from the uh, other uh, common, common uh, sources like uh, rocks or solids. So, we start from the uh, up from the atmosphere, which up uh, above of us and above the uh, what is called Earth's crust. It's about atmosphere. We live about in, in the light area is about 200 kilometers, but but the whole atmosphere more than 1,000 kilometers. So after that, we study the chemistry of the crust. Uh, you know that we have two types of crust. Uh, it's uh, um, upper crust and the lower crust, uh, which are uh, different element uh, composition. And mantle, of course, also, uh, here is composed the two parts. One is upper mant and the lower mant, also different in what is the chemistry, what is the chemical uh, element found in. And also we have uh, another two layers thinking in the core of the earth, what is called the outer core, which is uh, semi-liquids, and the inner core, which is very solid uh, materials, uh, nickel of, uh, and iron, because it have high pressure. You, you know that from your information that we have here about uh, talking about 5,000, 6,000 uh, temperature degree here in the course. And this is, this is the core, is the uh, uh, controls of our uh, gravity and our uh, crust here uh, as we are uh, walking, walking or talking or something like that. Every uh, behavior we we doing on our crust uh, depending on the gravity of this school, which formed uh, as a central of the other Earth. So we have uh, uh, three uh, or four, four also, four groups of elements concentrated in four uh, areas. Uh, start from, the, from down here for, to the core, and after that, uh, mountain, and after that, crust, and after that, the atmosphere. So we have four area and four groups of elements, as we see later here. You see the bulk composition comparable to condrite. What is condrite? It is is a stony meteorites. Meteorites, meteorites are which, which coming from outer space. You you know that some some small planet is destroyed uh, around the uh, between the area between Mars and and the Earth or around. Uh, to another planet in, in the circle. So, if this is a stony 
meteorites coming to us uh, uh, here we can study we classify it into two major uh, groups here what is stony meteorites and what is called metal chondrites so we we have here we have here uh, studying the composition of the solar system uh, in the primitive or the primitive asteroids which are coming to the Earth's surface. So as you see, we have the two types here. One is formed of uh, iron and nickels, especially metalloids, which are uh, going to be uh, liquefied during the, enter during the atmospheric, which have high temperatures. Uh, so it's, it's going coming to us uh, as a loy. So another one is a stony one, which, which is a primitive uh, asteroid, uh, which uh, composed of the dust of the primitive uh, solar system in the beginning of the formation. Condorite are most of the common type of meteorites according to approximately 82% uh, of all meteorites. Uh, okay, this is it, uh, uh, its average of the composition. We comparable of the composition of our Earth's crust rocks to the uh, comparative of the primitive uh, of condorites. If we have a difference, it's going to be discussed after that. So this is what is called asteroids. Uh, Goldschmidt uh, classified uh, all uh, elements we are uh, distributed in the periodic table into four groups, as we said before. Uh, it is a Swedish uh, scientist, uh, worker and mineralogist, considered key of the uh, what is called the father of the chemistry. The father is called the father of the chemistry because he is principal. This is branch of uh, chemical behavior of the element according to the uh, element minerals of the rocks. Also, uh, he studies the crystal chemistry. So, in, inside the crystals of the our uh, uh, elements, what 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 controlled of the behavior of, of this element. Chemical elements on the periodic table are classified with Victor of Morris Goldschmidt according to four groups, as we said before, according to who is found in the in the rocks, in the air, in the core, in the crust, or something like that, uh, and combined with the oxygen or not, uh, loving to sinking to the core or still on the surface of our uh, planet, or something like that. We have four groups. It's called lysophile elements, siderophile elements, or siderophile elements, calcophile elements, and atmophile elements. You can give a paper with me now and make a, a, a summary table for the uh, classification of four group of uh, uh, Morris, uh, Victor Morris Goldschmidt. We start here from the first one, what is called sidero, uh, sorry, lysophile uh, so, Goldsmith, as uh, a scientist, uh, lived, as we said before, from the 1988 uh, and until to uh, 1988 and until to uh, 1943. So, uh, it is far from us now about. Uh, uh, about three, uh, 73 years ago. In, in chemical classification, which is, this is element classified to four groups within according to preferred host faces. Who is the host faces found in this element? Found in rocks, forming rocks, or found in liquids, or found in the core, or found in the surface, uh, atmospheric surface, or something like that. Uh, the first uh, category, um, the biggest one, and we are touching in our work from the winner, is called lysophile, lysophile which are uh, rock loving, which are found in most of our rocks, so it's called rock loving. Sedrophile, uh, sedro, uh, it's coming from sidrite, sidrite is a, is a common iron ore, so it's sedrophile elements which are uh, iron loving uh, elements uh, found in this category. The third category is called calcophile. Calco coming from calcocyte, from the uh, calcopyrite, as you know, is the uh, um, element ores of the uh, copper. 
So it is uh, in this situation, it's, uh, it's going to make a sulfide or, or loving the calcogen or love of calcogenic. It's, it's, uh, it's a cover, uh, meaning like that, loving calcogen. So the, the first one uh, is atmophile, which has coming from atmosphere, it's a gas loving element. Uh, like oxygen, nitrogen, something like that. Or uh, volatile, which are evaporated, or, or is easily to go into uh, uh, in the, our uh, sky. So, you know that we have uh, studying also the, uh, the four cases of the, our matters we are using in our science uh, all days. We have uh, solid matters uh, and uh, liquid matters and the gases matter and the uh, plasma matters as you study in the normal uh, science. The element or combined which occurs is in liquid or gases, it's called atmophile elements, which are of course um, associated with the our, uh, above our uh, surface. So some elements have affinity to more one phase. We should be careful this is point, this. Because sometimes one mineral is going to have to behave well from the uh, what is called the lysophile elements or uh, sidrophile elements or calcophile elements with uh, atmophile elements, something like that. So we have a combination of two phases uh, between the, uh, the name of the groups and the love and behavior. Uh, whole found. So, uh, as an example, I love I love to to teach to you now. Okay, and also I love to going to uh, play football with my teams. So I I, am, I have to behave well, uh, different from to each other. Maybe combined in one person. Okay, it's it's alright. Okay, so so we study this is situation carefully, and we see we will studying here uh, carefully uh, the group and what is, is important of, uh, to us. The main affinity uh, given in table below, which I discussed, and uh, each group follow uh, that thing. Okay, you can you can you can see here about 97, 97 elements. Uh, here, uh, 97 elements here, what is the behavior? As we see before uh, in the uh, last uh, lecture, we uh, say that we have uh, eight groups and uh, uh, and the seven uh, periods in our uh, periodic table of uh, recent Mendeleev classification. So, you see the red color here, elements, it's what are called lysophile elements, you see here. This is all red, which here or, or there or, or down, something like that. It's called, it's, it's highly major uh, groups, highly major group of lysophile. And of course, we are used in, in many rocks and rock from the minerals or something like that, which are constitute about 90-90% of the, our uh, surface uh, crust, Earth's crust. So it is, uh, have uh, four characteristics of uh, what is called, is, what is the, uh, characterize this group. First one is going to be uh, in close to the Earth's surface. It's uh, forming about 90%, 99% as we see. Combined with oxygen, this is elements here. It's easily combined oxidized. It's going to be oxidized and the com compound add uh, silicate minerals and oxidized uh, minerals. So it's you know from your information, or the chemical information, we have two major elements in our uh, work from the minerals of uh, Earth's crust. We have first one oxygen and second one is silicon. So I want to combine to, uh, to each other, it's forming silicates minerals. So this is elements go have a, a excellent attendance to combine with the silicate minerals which have, of course, uh, oxygen. So this is, it's a love and oxygen uh, combination, this element. This element, these elements combine, lovely combined to the uh, uh, oxygen. It's always easy uh, to mix them. Uh, this is, it's a, it's a light, it's a, it's a light density. It's a, a small density. So it is not sinking to the core of our uh, earth, of course. Uh, and the com uh, forming, uh, um, common rock from the mineral, which is called silicate, as we see before. Uh, this is element include the famous 
this is many 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 uh, elements here but the famous uh, eight eight, uh, eight elements here in this group is called oxygen uh, here uh, and uh, oxygen and uh, silicons uh, and aluminium aluminium and iron what is called iron and also with uh, what is called uh, after that after iron we calcium and sodium potassium magnesium sodium sodium potassium uh, magnesium this is uh, what is called here in uh, what is called the lysophile uh, elements so the second group which have uh, a faint purple color here cedrophile element cedrophile elements is have is uh, what is called transition uh, metals here uh, as we say in the uh, last lecture before we have transition uh, um, periodic table like this so we we discuss before uh, two minutes ago what is elements have the same characters in two faces you see here manganese and the chromium here it's have uh, two behavior of uh, lysophile elements and cedrophile elements so chromium and the manganese not especially characterized for the lysophile element or not special for the cedrophile file elements it's you have a two behavior of this is combination group as you see from from here so also we have uh, something uh, what is called the platinum or iridium or osmosium uh, uh, these these elements like platinum you have uh, see uh, is have two character here have cedrophile elements and the calcophile elements as we discussed after that so every uh, every uh, cube here or every square here of any metals which have one color it's have one behavior of the group of four of uh, goldschmidt classification but it have it has two colors it uh, here like this one or the, that one that is meaning we have a uh, two behavioral characteristic of two groups of uh, man, uh, classification of goldschmidt so what is the characterize the uh, second group of cedrophile elements it is going to characterize by it's the high dynasty uh, metals here it's high dynasty we know that it's high dynasty because this is one uh, going to be formed uh, 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 what is called cedrophile elements so here we include six elements here like gold as we see, iridium, iridium, platinum, iron. We, we, we said before iron in, 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 the, in the group of this file, but in fact, it is uh, not in this file, it is single file. Okay, so we, it must be corrected that. So, platinum here, uh, and iridium, and gold, gold, gold. This is precious, precious metals. Uh, you, you are uh, knowing gold and platinum uh, and iridium it, it's, it's very very um, important and useful and a precious uh, element in our uh, nature so it is a uh, cedrophile uh, characters also uh, if we are going to discuss nickel cobalt iron we we talking about the core of the earth not not like here as the surface of the earth we talking about here uh, uh, what is called uh, elements which combine 99 percent of the core of the uh, inner especially inner core of our earth and all all this is materials coming from to the surface like nickel and, uh, and iron and the cobalt it's coming directly by the movement inside the earth to uh, uh, sinking uh, up, 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 up to reach it uh, with weathering to our uh, surface. So, but originated in the core of the our uh, earth. So uh, this is uh, about what is called uh, also uh, molybdenum here. You you see molybdenum here and uh, uh, tungsten. Tungsten here also included in this uh, group. So now we have two uh, uh, groups or two category of our uh, uh, Goldschmidt classification, cedro, which have a red color, cedrophile elements, and what is called uh, lysophile elements, sorry, and uh, cedrophile uh, elements. 
The second group is going to be uh, uh, here is calcophyllin. Before we leave, we leave in this group of cytophile elements, of course, it's going to dissolve in iron. All this is elements, all this is elements here of cytophile. It's going to dissolve in any state of the iron which in, in liquid state or uh, solid state. So, dissolve in iron easily. Uh, so, this is elements also don't combine with oxygen, uh, vice versa of uh, Lysophile elements, high density, not combined easily with uh, oxygen, and don't combine uh, with oxygen easily, uh, except so what is called uh, the rust here and uh, what is uh, transformation of iron to what is called uh, limonite or uh, zutite. The third group here is calcophile elements. Calcophile elements, it's it's loving it's loving uh, cover here. So it is have this is uh, types of colors. Uh, so we have here uh, what is called uh, two characteristic uh, only one on one characteristic. It's one characteristic of calcophile. What is the characteristic of this group of calcophile uh, element here? It's uh, going to be combined easily with sulfur. This is elements. It's a highly tendency to combine with sulfur. Is is uh, okay. You 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 know sulfur here, sulfur here. Oh, this is this is in in, in, in group uh, uh, A six here. Uh, sulfur is going to be highly combined with this. Uh, all this is element. So it is called uh, uh, calcophile uh, element and easily was uh, also uh, loving uh, cover. So. Uh, it's uh, it's easily with the sulfur. Don't think to the core, of course, because it is not going to be formation of the uh, cores. Uh, this is elements. These elements combined what is called in, in economic geology veins. It's, it's forming the veins inside the rocks uh, to be uh, uh, native uh, elements, which like uh, like night or something like that or cover cover veins or uh, forming uh, lead veins or bismuth veins, something like that. So it is uh, uh, famous in vein chip. Include, as you see, uh, cover, zinc, uh, silver, uh, cadmium, uh, like mercury, like uh, titanium, like lead, like bismuth, like tungsten, like uh, uh, what is called uh, tin. Uh, a step night, trillium, something like that. Okay, so this is group is is loving to self. The the last group, what is called atmophile, which forming uh, what is called the liquid or gases of the atmospheric uh, surface of uh, Earth's here. It's of course uh, we talking about liquid or gases. We talking about uh, slow density uh, elements. It's forming gases or liquid state. Close to the Earth's surface, of course, because it's it's highly volatile. Include uh, eight elements like uh, like uh, carbon, like nitrogen, uh, here like helium, like uh, neon, neon, neon uh, uh, argon, krypton, xenon, something like that. This is this is highly uh, highly volatile and below density element. So now we have. Uh, some information about four groups of Goldschmidt. What is the characteristic of each group? Even, even we forget, even we forget something. We combined four groups about what is going to, what is the relation with oxygen, where it found a surface on the, uh, on the surface or on the cores. Okay, what is density? What is the name? Uh, uh, some example of this is uh, groups. So this is four items in four groups. You must make a comparable uh, summarized uh, table to uh, easily uh, memorize it after uh, that. Okay, everyone? Okay, follow me. So we have here the distribution abundance of the atoms, every element according to oxygen. 
it's, it's about 1 million, it's uh, 10 by 6, multiply by 6 uh, times, you go here, it's by what, what, what distribution of these elements, all of them, to the uh, uh, relation with atmo uh, uh, atmosphere in, in, in 1 billion uh, part. Okay. Atomic number of is this, this element, it, it, you, you know, it's a highly atomic number in all our periodic table. It's about uranium, which have uh, about 92 of the uh, atomic uh, number. So, uh, I follow uh, after that, after the uranium, thorium here. It's, it's a radioactive element here, as you see. It have also middle, middle abundance bare uh, atmosphere uh, here. So, um, with the uh, atoms. So, uh, we, we have here the, what is called the rock forming elements. Rock forming elements, oh, most of them is silicon, silicon, uh, sodium, uh, calcium, uh, potassium, oxygen, uh, something like that. So, we have here what is called the major industrial metal in red color. In red color, you see uh, lead, tungsten, uh, uh, what is called uh, SN, uh, like Qasdir, uh, molybdenum here, uh, zinc, copper, nickel, chromium, manganese, iron, titanium, magnesium, aluminum. These all red colored uh, elements, it's, which are used in industry, which are metal used is in, in industry. So, precious metals in purple color, you see purple color here, here, uh, like uh, platinum, like uh, uh, gold, here, iridium, osmosium, uh, hey, this is elements in the uh, precious metal, which have its highly uh, valuable uh, price. Uh, a rare earth element, our rare, uh, rarest metals here, uh, it's going to uh, the uh, yellow area here, and the green area is rock forming elements, as you see. This is uh, uh, normal. Uh, classification uh, rare earth in blue color here you have in, in the middle of this is our uh, diagram it's a blue color um, elements it's rare earth element. so the abundance uh, of this is uh, explain what what we see before in this is figure is the abundance of the elements inside uh, our uh, earth's crust or the atmospheric uh, atomic number of the function of this element, um, what is called uh, earth core or coming from meteorites or uh, distribution on the air or sidophile elements of uh, what is called classification before. This is abundance, uh, talking about abundance. If we have a detailed, detailed concentration or uh, detailed talking about uh, the first group of uh, Goldsmith again, we can uh, summarize in, in this is, uh, table here. Uh, what is called lithophile? It's a rock. It's a, if you want to write after me, rock forming element are found close to the Earth's surface, combined with with oxygen. Number two, uh, number three is going to form a compound. Don't sink into the core because it's a low density. It have about uh, four. Uh, Eight, eight elements here, aluminium, calcium, potassium, magnesium, sodium, oxygen, silicon, uh, titanium. Here, example of this is siderophile elements of Goldschmidt with the atomic atomic number and atomic weight. Uh, so it's atomic number uh, and uh, what is weight here? Silicon, silicon, it's, it's, you, you, you can't see the silicon in, in free state here. Uh, but you can see is the uh, aluminum, uh, as you see, it uh, have uh, atomic number uh, 13 and about uh, 27 uh, atomic weight. So the element composition of this is uh, Earth's crust. We have 90% uh, uh, of this is 99% of this is element here. You see oxygen in the abundance, more abundance element here in our. Uh, surface crust uh, or metals uh, or uh, which are go going to work from the minerals because oxygen is the uh, more abundant if you're going to analyze the, the crust or the uh, what is called the common uh, rocks here we uh, uh, concluded that oxygen is from about 47 
Now, see. And the second one in abundance uh, is the silicon. Silicon is going to 28. If we are going to combine with this uh, and this that one, it's going to be talking about uh, uh, 75 percent. This is two elements forming about 75 percent of our uh, crust uh, minerals. So uh, after that coming the aluminium, uh, uh, the third one in abundance, and followed by iron, followed by calcium, followed by sodium, about 3%, and going with followed by potassium, it's 2.5%, and the magnesium, about 2% here, as you see, and the, the last one, other element, all of them is going to 100%. 100 percent uh, only 1% of 100 of course so it is uh, if you are combined the 99 percent of it all element with the other one is 1 percent is going 100 percent so for me please so we, we we study here in concentration where is found lysophile element uh, found in silicate minerals, most of them is found. It's rock from the mineral, rock from the minerals up to 93 percent of the crust. Yeah, of course, m m many crust it's from of, of, uh, of uh, granite and uh, what is called the fellas basoid fell and the plagioclase and bryotite. This is minerals forming all the common uh, igneous rocks which are uh, you are studying in. Uh, faculty of science here in geology, uh, you know quartz. It's nearly SiO2. It's going to uh, highly percent of the two elements which are talking about oxygen and uh, silicon. Followed by the common common mineral of also place group and leisure place feldspar groups, and then followed by biotite, mica, muscovite, and biotite, and uh, forming the rock many. It's going to here here form quartz vein. To the granite until to diorite and then going to gabbles, okay, uh, and etc. Uh, etc. Et of this is uh, highly uh, basic or ultra basic uh, rocks here, and uh, especially going to also bioxines, olivine, and also the metamorphic mineral, what's called granite, and going to all of them is going to destroy to what is called by uh, chemical weathering or physical weathering to give us what is called clay. Minerals, clay minerals. It's about uh, 15 minerals, but the famous one is kaolinite. Kaolinite is a famous of clay minerals. This clay mineral have about 16 or 17 minerals here. What is called in the human being uh, formation, which Allah created the the, uh, the human Adam. Uh, what is called the major uh, messenger Adam coming to the earth from the clay mineral. إني جاء في الأرض الخليفة إني خلق من الطين بشرة فإذا سويته نفخت فيه فقع له سجدي صدق الله العظيم. So it's clay mineral. It's very important mineral which coming from destroyed of all this is element here. So it is going to combine what is called kaolinite. Kaolinite is easily to to form in every shape you want to making that. So we have different shape of human beings which are form is essentially form. Clay minerals in the creation of the Allah uh, from many, many, many thousands of years ago. So, the second uh, group is called uh, cedrophile elements here, concentrated in the core. Yeah, the first character of this is element cedrophile, it's called concentrated in the core. Why is it concentrated in the core? Because it's a highly uh, it's, uh, if, uh, you want to, if you want to memorize it, it's a nickel and iron, which forming the core. Nickel and iron form the core. Highly dynasty element. It's iron loving elements. Iron loving elements. So it's highly dynasty metals tend to sink into the core. Highly dynasty element tend, tend to sink into the core don't combine with oxygen easily the salt ready in iron as a solid solution we have four character now the salt ready in iron as solid solution because in the in the core of the earth uh, of the earth is or outer core and inner core it's going to make some solid solution solid solution phase it's uh, it's not solid and uh, uh, and not uh, liquid in what is called semi-solid solid solution or in the molten state molten state which are 
they, they, the outer core in molten state, but the inner core in solid state. So the pseudophile elements include uh, gold, iridium, iron, of course, nickel, of course, molybdenum, platinum. So it's you, you see it's a small uh, six element control in our uh, uh, life here. Some some of them is going like gold and platinum is highly precious elements uh, or uh, it's a high uh, resistant elements like nickel and iron okay iridium uh, uh, of course is a radioactive element here so the the third groups of uh, goldsmith classification here is what is called uh, trace uh, trace element found in the crust trace element found in the crust uh, here, what is called the calco file element, which are some of them are, uh, is trace, okay? Uh, but but uh, some of them is loving the sulfur and going to be tendency with the uh, copper here. It's it's all loving. All loving is mostly found in ore, what is called precious one, uh, uh, or like calco pyrite, pyrite, something like that. So it's it's going to be uh, element combined with the sulfur. So, calcopyrite and uh, every uh, calc or calcophile element is going to easily was combined with salt. Uh, form a compound that don't think in the core, don't think in the core, vice versa of the pseudophile elements, vice versa, but like of lysophile elements, don't think to the core, it's still on the surface or near the surface. Make up about a small amount of crust percent, of course, but most concentrated in the mineral veins. You, you see before the calcopyrite, which have uh, found in some rocks as a veins. Calcophile element is include arsenic, cadmium, cobalt, of course, cobalt out because it's calcophile, uh, lead, silver, sulfur, of course, tin, zinc. Ten, here, ten, 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 and zinc don't, don't, don't amazing for the classification here because this ten and zinc is, is a precious metal uh, uh, in this situation. You are see here cover and the lead which have the atomic number and the atomic weight, highly atomic weight uh, is about 207. Uh, so this is, uh, the lead is uh, the poison metals. <laughs> Be careful about using it as like this this is what is called before sometimes is uh, the italian using in uh, the uh, bottle to drink of the uh, water in the first and eating inside this is uh, lead dishes and some of them are going to be dry poison from the lead what is called the the, the element will destroy the italian civilization before the so cover here also used in many uh, factory uh, as the uh, what is called in our uh, dishes or material what you're using in uh, kitchen but now uh, the uh, modern science uh, tell us that we don't uh, use the cover or uh, lead in, in our materials in the kitchen because it's a poison to be uh, our us uh, so it is you 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 uh, oxidation of the cover uh, making what is called the um, Malachite and as and another one, as right. Malachite and as right is going to calculate the color. So the the last season here uh, for this is uh, groups for group of goldsmiths. We're talking about the concentration of element in the atmosphere and the hydrosphere. We have two spheres here. Not on the surface, uh, not on the core of the Earth, of course. It's only found in the surface of the Earth, atmosphere, and the hydrosphere. So it is called atmophile elements, atmosphere-loving elements, known as volatile elements. Uh, okay, in gases or liquid state, as we see, it's atmosphere or hydrosphere. Uh, close to the Earth's surface, of course. Atmophile elements include carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, argon. Helium, neon, krypton, xenon. This is the last groups of uh, halogen uh, compound. But <laughs> the precious carbon state, of course, we're talking about the diamond. Diamond here, this is crystalline carbon in highly uh, deeper uh, uh, Earth's crust. Uh, after that, at about 170 kilometers uh, depth, 
it's going to high pressure carbon. High pressure carbon is called diamond. It's a more precious uh, element in, in our uh, knowledge. So it's only have six uh, atom number and the 12 atom molecule. Uh, if we are going to do uh, nitrogen, what you formed about nitrogen, what you formed about 78% uh, of our uh, air, which are releasing every time with, uh, with, with oxygen here, but uh, the, what is called joke about uh, nitrogen, why is uh, our air going to fire so when you are matching matching like this sulfur why is don't air going to be firing because it's have high percent of nitrogen which stop the G oxygen characteristic to affin to love affinity of fire so it is we have in our releasing air about 21 percent of oxygen and around 78 percent of nitrogen which to make it uh, uh, not higher uh, of oxygen in the air so Follow me, please. So the next the next lecture we will talking about environmental pollution and what is the relation between the Earth's element, which are discussed in four group of Smith to our life and our water and our food, which in the fish. Thank you, and we go bye bye and see you later in the uh, lecture number three.